morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at FC Kerbeck on the premium brand side of the business to take a look at this 2023 Mercedes-Benz S580 4Matic. Diamond white metallic is the color. Carmine red with black two-tone Napa leather interior. Looks stunning. So we're going to check out this 23 Benz. See what it's bringing to the market. See what kind of value you can get when you're buying this car with just a few thousand miles on it pre-owned. So let's dig in. Front end of the S580, looking good. It's Mercedes top of the line luxury vehicle. We have the three-pointed star on the hood, LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, LED turn signals. I'm trying to keep my shadow out of the shot here. So we'll move around. Give you a front end look looks really good functional side air curtains functionality in the grill top and bottom give you a close-up of our headlight housing here in really sleek design really looks good now we'll swing around to our wheel and tire package on this and now we got amg 21 inch aluminum alloy wheels mercedes emblem on the center cap now these 21 inch wheels are wrapped in Pirelli P0s, 255 on the width, a 35 series sidewall, 21s up front, but out back, we're looking at 285 on the width, a 30 series sidewall, 21s, and we have formatic, meaning all wheel drive. As we pull out further, the diamond white, really good looking color on this Benz. It's a huge luxury sedan and one of my favorite Mercedes for sure. As we move on in, we are gloss black on the side view mirror, LED turn signals with 360 degree view cameras. We have our door handles that will come out when you're ready to get in. And when you lock the car, or you get into the car, these will go flush to the body, which is a really cool feature. We have a right side fuel filler cap up top. We do have a color matched roof, but a huge twin panel sunroof. Now we're looking at the rear end of this Mercedes looking good. Again, the Mercedes three-pointed star right there on the deck lid. S580 on the left, formatic on the right. LED lighting all the way around. Functional dual exhaust on this Benz and it just looks really, really good. And of course, now we're going to take a look at this beast of an engine, this four liter twin turbo V8. We are under the hood of this 23 S580 formatic. And what are we looking at for a power plant? We have Mercedes Benz's 4 liter bi turbo V8 engine, mild hybrid drive, mated to a 9 speed automatic transmission. 496 horsepower, 516 pound feet of torque, MPGs 16 in the city, 25 on the highway. 19 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 93, so you'll need to use super unleaded gas. Before we get into the interior of this S580, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much does this beautiful diamond white metallic Benz cost? Well, top of the line action is not cheap with Mercedes Benz. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you the MSRP when new and the total vehicle price when new and then I'll give you the price for what they're asking for it now with only 6,200 miles on it pre-owned. So here we go. MSRP base for the 23S580 sedan formatic is $124,000. Now this vehicle has a lot of extras. So here we go. Diamond white metallic paint an extra $1,750. The Carmine Red Black Exclusive Napa Leather, an extra 3,110. The Piano Lacquer Flowing Lines, an extra 1,300. The Comfort Box, an extra 375. All Season Floor Mats, an extra 170. The First Aid Kit, an extra 35. The 21 inch AMG Multi Spoke Wheels with Black Inlays, 1,950. The Rear axle steering, four and a half degrees, so we have four wheel steering in here, is $1,300. E-Active Body Control, 6500 
Burmester high-end 4D surround sound system, 6,800. Active ambient lighting, 790. Warmth and comfort package, which is the heated steering wheel, power outboard, outboard rear seats with memory, heated and active ventilated outboard rear seats, heated front and rear center armrests, and heated door armrests, 3,800. Then the DC-1 night package, front splitter, and fins in air intakes and high gloss black, side cell panels with insert and high gloss black, trim on the rear apron in high gloss black, $400. The technology package, $3,000. The DG3 AMG line, AMG wheels, sport body styling, front and rear bumpers, side skirts, stainless steel sport pedals with rubber studs, AMG floor mats, an extra $4,300. Wow. All right. Then we have to add in destination and delivery of $1,150 from Mercedes-Benz's Sindelfingen, Germany assembly plant. And we have a total vehicle asking price from the factory when new of $160,730. Now, with all that said, what can you buy it for? Used with, I said, 6,200 miles roughly? $125,000 will get you this car. So let's check out the interior. Starting with the foot box, a nice looking foot box, a big dead pedal, even though it's all carpet, might like to see some finish on that. Aluminum finish on the brake and accelerator. The carpeted floor mats are in the trunk at this time. We have the illuminated door sill plates on all four doors that say Mercedes-Benz. And now as we look at this unbelievably gorgeous door panel where all the action is, we have three memory seat settings. Let me zoom in here, give you the action. Three memory seat settings. This is where you can activate right here your heated and ventilated front seats as well. Here are all the power options for your seat right there. As we pop on over here, this is the piano black that lights up with ambient lighting when it's dark. It looks stunning. I don't know if you can see that ambient lighting on right now along the top. Just beautiful. This is where we can adjust our headlights and our fog lamps right there. Then we have power fold mirrors, as you would expect, in a Benz. So here you go. Right there. Pushing that down. Here is the Burm one of the Burmester speakers, which just looks stunning. Here's another one down here on the door. And this is where you pop the trunk down here in the door pocket, which is a pretty good size. Look at this carmine red Napa leather, black piping, diamond pattern, looking gorgeous pillows on the headrest to make sure your head is nice and comfy. Just a stunning looking interior in this S580. Door panel action. I mean, this is the passenger tour panel. You got three memory seat settings for your front passenger all the power. You got the heated and ventilated seats as well up front. Just a stunning looking interior. And I don't know if anybody can beat Mercedes-Benz as far as interior quality. You let me know if you have an idea. Leather, again, this light up piano black uh, plastic. Here's more, more of that ambient lighting that goes across into the heat and air vents. And then a huge glove box. Infotainment time. Here we go. Mercedes-Benz's OLED 12.8 inch infotainment screen. I'm going to try to get you different shots of this. It's angled up towards the roof to keep the glare off. But how about this, right? Pinch to zoom action. Look at that, the way it looks. Just stunning. Now, there's a lot going on in here. I'm not going to be able to cover it all. So I'm just going to hit some highlights. In the center here is your home button. You can go to your home and you can get to your different settings. If you would like to adjust your comfort settings, you can go in here. You can adjust your massage. You can adjust your ambient lighting right there. And, and then you can adjust your energizing comfort as well. So that's where they have that action, right? We can hit our home button, go back to our map. We can hit the home button again. We have this, this setting that comes up. Now we can go into our vehicle settings and we can set up our driver profiles we can take a look at how we want to have everything else set up in here you got your vehicle right here 
You have your light settings next to it, then system, and then information. Every time you do this, you get another great picture of your bends. And then we can go back here, hit home button twice. Now we can adjust our music, smartphone, project your phone, the apps that you have in here at your disposal right here. Obviously, you got your, your Mercedes uh, app as well, where you say H-E-Y Mercedes, and that'll let you do your navigation or any other th thing you want to do here hands-free. You can hit the picture of your car. You can go into where do you want to go, nearest gas stations, nearest parking spaces, what route you want. So they got a lot of stuff going on here. Just by hitting this home button, you can get to a lot of different places. And now down below here, you got your dual climate control, where you can go ahead and get all that action going and adjusting it and syncing it together and putting it on auto and all that good stuff. It's a really excellent, excellent system here in this Benz. So there you have it with all that good stuff right there. Moving on down, now you have your drive modes right here, right at your fingertips, and they pop up up here, right? So we have Sport, Sport Plus. We have Individual. We can come back the other way. And now we can go to comfort and then CV, curve. And then we can go to eco to drive economically. So we have a lot of nice features here. And those where your drive modes are right down here. You can also get to your vehicle settings with this button, four way hazards, turn the screen off, mute, and then your volume. So you're all set and ready to go. Now, as we come up here, we have our engine auto, uh, engine push button start, and then you have your uh, engine auto stop start on off right underneath that in a separate button, but it's all already it's all in one housing is what I wanted to say. Four heat and air vents up top as well, which look really really good. As we come down, obviously USB C action, and we have our wireless charging pad with ambient lighting in there, so you can see it at night. Nice area here to lie your phone or something else. These are the Mercedes Benz ashtrays. If you get the smokers package. Now, this car has never been smoked in, but it came with these ashtrays, which are such high quality in their feel. They're all metal in their feel and in their touch. They just look wonderful, and it came with two of them. One of them is still in the baggie. Now, as we come down here, here is our center armrest. We open it up. Boom. Felt lined. Two USB-Cs for connectivity in there. So they got you all set. Mercedes-Benz key fob. Look how beautiful that is. And it's metal. And it has a nice weight to it. Obviously, the Mercedes-Benz logo right here is lock. Unlock. Pop the trunk. On the back. Looking beautiful. Feels really good in your hand, too. Mercedes-Benz leather-wrapped wheel. Look how beautiful this is. Great 10 and 2 notches. The Mercedes-Benz emblem on the horn button. And the horn button's not too big. It's nice and small. It's the, the badge takes up the whole thing. Looks good. But we do have gloss black on the switch gear, which I'm not a big fan of because I can get full of fingerprints and look dusty. But on the left here, you got your adaptive cruise. You, got, you can brighten and dim your uh, <clears throat> dash, adjust your parking sensors, all that stuff, go to your home button and all that. And on the right side, you got your telephone voice commands, favorites button, volume, and all that jazz. And then you have these beautiful metal paddles to go up and down this nine-speed automatic if you want to go through the gears manually. Here is your adaptive high beams and turn signals and window washers. And I know I'm not a big fan of window washers, but I love this Mercedes-Benz window washer. Watch this. Look at that. Nice and slow, spreads the water out, and then boom, wipes it off. That is so cool. <laughs> on the right, here is your gear shift with park. You push on the end in, and it will go back to park. Now, as I showed you everything over here already, we got more heat and air vents. Down below here, we have our electric parking brake. And way down underneath here, you can pop the hood. There's a red uh, lever that you pull to pop the hood. It's way down there. Now, obviously, being a Mercedes S580, this is an electric tilting and telescoping wheel. So they have you covered there. And then, of course, they have their all-digital dash. 
which just looks beautiful. Everything is digital. Everything looks good. Now, when you go through your dynamic modes, your drive modes, they're going to show up, but they're going to show up on the infotainment screen. They're not going to show up on your dash. So that's where they have that. You can change how you want your dash to look. Right there. And you can go through the classic display, right? You can go through your... These little buttons are going to make it tough on me to get where I want to go here. But anyway, you can go through your exclusive. Here's exclusive now. So we'll hit, okay, we got sport. There's your sport display. Oh, now I'm getting the hang of it, right? And then you have your understated display right there. Oh, back to sport. This is very touchy, I have to tell you, on the steering wheel trying to get your big fat thumb like me on these little teeny weeny arrows is pretty tough. But I can give you an, an idea of a couple of them. I don't want to be here all day trying to fart around with this because it is very, very touchy. See how small these buttons are with these arrows. And you see how big my thumb is. And trying to get into that little teeny weeny arrow to take it to the right or left is not easy. And you fat thumb a lot of stuff just by that. So I like to see Mercedes make this a little bit more useful, I think. And then we just hit our volume again on. Didn't even try. It's going to take some getting used to. But anyway, that's how that looks. Obviously, our overhead console's got some stuff going on over it, but we have our SOS button right here. Here's my Mercedes. You want to make a call. You want to have your, M, uh, your dome lighting come on off and you open and close the door. This button remains off. And then when you open your door, the lighting will come on. As you can see, close the door. The lighting will dim out. Control for your sunshade here on this dual panel roof, which is huge. And both of them open separately. Alcantara headliner looks gorgeous. But the one thing I think we're missing in this Benz is we don't have a digital rear view mirror. And that might have been a nice touch in a vehicle like this. We do have our sun visor right here with vanity and a light that's stuck up there. And then, will it pull out? Yes. And does it slide? No. And there's no extension. Getting in the back of this S580, I have the seat set for my driving position. Here are the rear door sill plates looking beautiful. Light up as well. We can just hop right in easy to get in and look at the room oh my goodness gracious plenty of room for my head shoulders and knees again that beautiful leather all the way down some more of this wood or uh, piano black lacquer they call it and then we have a door pocket behind the driver and the front passenger in the back open this up heat and air and then two usb c's for connectivity and then the door panels are going to give you the same action here in the back with your three memory seat settings for both rear passengers. Plus, you're going to have heated and ventilated seats in the back as well with massage and obviously all the power on the seats back here. Look at that Burmester speaker looking gorgeous. So plenty of room back here. Again, this dime, uh, or excuse me, this carmine red with black is just gorgeous with the diamond pattern super comfortable we can open this up and this automatically folds down and then you can rest your phone in here we can open that up we have more area for storage with two more usb c's so they got you covered and then we have an area where you can put like pencils and pens right here so just gorgeous here in the back of this bends Getting in the trunk of your S580 now. I have to leave the doors open because if I close them up, the car will lock itself. Like, boom, that fast. And then I got to unlock everything again. So I'm going to leave those doors open. That's why they're like that. So here we go. Opening the trunk, obviously, you can pop it from the door pocket up on the driver's side or your key fob. And then you come to the back and you can pop it that way. And you have nice electric assist on the way up, nice electric assist on the way down. A well-finished and gorgeously carpeted trunk area. 
12.3 cubic feet of cargo space in here. Here are the AMG carpeted floor mats with the all season mats, first aid kit, all that stuff tucked over here. And then look at this, we have this lovely area with, that'll roll out for you and you can put some stuff in here, maybe a laptop and, and hook it in or something like that and then just slide it back and get it out of the way. And you have a pass through into the back if you need to throw some longer items in. So it's a really nice looking and a nice wide opening too. Here is the window sticker that came with the vehicle. So I'll zoom in for you. 23S580 formatic, standard features on the left and options on the right. Fuel economy. Made in Germany. All parts, 80% of the parts from Germany. And of course, there is your total vehicle asking price new. 167.30, 125,000 now, 6,200 miles. Let's take this for a short little drive. All right, we're pulling out of the parking lot and we're gonna take this for a little short little drive. I got that great head up display that has huge numbers too. So it's easy to see, really crisp too. Speed limit, my speed. Right, I got my uh, lane keep assist up there as well. Just stunning. Great visibility out of all the glass. Obviously blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, lane keep assist. All that action is in this Benz. This has a fairly large turning radius of 21 feet, which is pretty big. But you know what, when you wanna get on it, it goes nicely but it goes comfortably. This is a quiet, quiet cabin in this Benz. Very quiet, very elegant, very posh. I, guess I feel like a baller in here. You know, frankly, I feel like I'm driving something like a Rolls Royce because it's so well done inside this S580. And then when you turn, the bolstering firms up on either side of the seat so you don't jiggle around in the seat. How's that action going? And I know I haven't showed you every feature in here. Like I said, we'd be here all day, but just a really well done vehicle, very smooth, very quiet, the handling, totally direct. And when I do this, both sides of the bolstering squeeze me. <laughs> and then when you wanna stand on it, the bi-turbo kicks in and you're ripping down the road. The shifting of this nine-speed automatic is absolutely perfect. No issues there. Just a great vehicle to be in, to make the way it makes you feel. It makes you feel special being in a vehicle like a Mercedes-Benz, especially a big S580 luxury sedan. And Mercedes-Benz, you know, in their ads, they say Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. And you know what? This is the best. As far as a luxury sedan, four-door sedan, full size, I haven't been in anything better than this. The way the fit and finish, look at that. Good turning radius too, even though it seems wider. The fit and finish, the quality of the leather, the quality of the construction, obviously the power in the engine is just absolutely pitch perfect. I wouldn't change a thing on this car. And you know what? At 125 with 6,200 miles on it, that's a lot of money, but for somebody looking for a, ca a car in this class and they got some money to spend on it, that's a heck of a savings. If you think about it, 161 just about new, and now we were at 125, you know, that's significant savings for a current model year S580, for sure. See how quiet that is? Just beautiful. And then I got my, my ambient lighting going on in here in this beautiful turquoise blue. And then the ambient lighting around the speakers on the Burmester system is red. 
So just, just really great little attention to detail touches by Benz and this suspension is so well done. Every little bump, every little curve, it soaks it up. It gives you that ah feeling of ultra comfort. It's got four wheel steer. That's why when you have a big car like this, you get the four wheel steer and it turns it around really well. And when you want it to handle with the four wheel steer up to four and a half degrees on the rear wheels, it just, ah, oh, unbelievable response. So let me know what you guys think. First time ever on the channel, Mercedes-Benz. First time ever on the channel, S580 Action. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you regarding what you think about this full-size luxury sedan from Mercedes-Benz. Would you want to head and plunk your money down if you were in the market for one of these? Or are you going to go somewhere else with your hard-earned money? Please let me know. But I want to thank FC Kerbeck Premium Brands, for allowing the channel access to this 2023 Mercedes-Benz S580 formatic in diamond white metallic for review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.